Welcome to Smithtown Spotlight. I'm Bobby Rabbit, and today we are at the Suffolk Sportsman, a local firearm and fishing store. We're going to go inside and speak with John and Alan, the co-owners of this establishment, and they're going to answer some of our questions about everything firearms and fishing. Hi, my name is Alan Gordon. I'm one of the owners of Suffolk Sportsman in Smithtown. Our address is 119 East Main Street in Smithtown. We're three quarters of a block west of Route 111. We saw a need for local fishing advice, the local baits to use in the Nissaquah River and the Long Island Sound. We also saw a need for somebody to help with getting uh, pistol licenses and uh, ammunition locally. We sell fishing rods, reels, line, accessories, and bait for freshwater and saltwater, as well as rifles, shotguns, and handguns for home defense, uh, hunting, and uh, target shooting. Someone would come to our business because we have the knowledge of the local waters. We can tell you exactly what rods and reels, what baits to use to catch what species, as well as where all the firing ranges are and how to obtain a pistol license if you should so desire to get one. All right, Alan, so I come in, I'm interested in fishing. Do I need a license to fish anymore? Do I need one for just a uh, salt water or fresh water? What's, what's the procedures? You need to have a fresh water and a salt water license if you're gonna fish in both. There's different seasons. Fresh water licenses go from October 1 through September 30th. Okay. The salt water licenses go from January 1 to December 30th. And do you issue those licenses here? Can people fill out the paperwork here and, and take care of it? It's immediate. Oh, okay. If you have proof of residency for the state of New York, we can do it immediately. There's a $10 charge for the salt water license or a $29 charge for the fresh water license. Okay, now being that we're near the Nissaquad River, but we're also near the Sound, um, what types of fish are around this area throughout the course of the year? The resident fish in the salt water is striped bass, and bluefish. Okay. That's mostly what we do from the end of the river into Long Island Sound. And we have the fresh water where New York State puts dumps some trout in, so okay. you can fish for trout after April 1st. Okay. Are there any different types of fishing rods that you would use in salt water as opposed to fresh water, or can you use anything? In the fresh water, you use lighter tackle, something like this because you're catching the smaller fish. Right. If you're fishing off a boat in the salt water, we use things like this. Okay. And then if you're gonna fish off the beach, we go into longer rods so you're able to throw your lure or your bait out farther. Now, what is the difference between bait versus lure? Which one's better for which? If there's a presence of bait in the water, it would be better if you used bait to sort of say match the hatch, okay. to try to match what's in the what's water. In the water. Right. If it's not available to you, then you use artificials. So you've brought out some saltwater lures. Can you tell us which ones work better with the different species? Sure. If you're fishing off a boat, this is an umbrella rig, and this is actually trolled behind the boat and works for striped bass as well as bluefish. This is called an Ava jig, and this could be jigged either from a boat or can be fished uh, from the beach by casting it out, letting it fall, and quickly retrieving it for, again, bluefish and striped bass. This is a fluke rig, and this we usually put on some bait, either a spearing and a piece of squid. This is a lure to imitate a bunker, and this is usually used for uh, surf casting for the striped bass and the bluefish. Then we use hooks and live bait or frozen bait for blackfish, sea bass, and porgies. My name is John Quinn. I'm co-owner of the Suffolk Sportsman. I sell firearms. It's, uh, I'm an enthusiast. I like to collect firearms, and uh, we try and help out the local people. Okay, so John. If someone was interested in obtaining a pistol permit or a hunting license and they've never done it before, they come in here, how would they get the process started? The process for a handgun, you have to be 21 years old, okay? Um, it's a two-page application um, and you, you could pick it up in Yapank at the pistol department or download it off the computer at SuffolkCountyPD.org. Okay. Um, you need four character references and can't be family or law enforcement. And just follow the paperwork, what it says, and you'll be okay. 
And now I'm sure there's an extensive background check. It's an extensive background check by the FBI. Okay. And that's for the, the pistol permit. Pistol permit. Now, for a hunting license, um, how would someone go about getting that? Is it the same kind of process? Uh, no, it's different. You need to take a course. It's approximately a 20-hour course for hunt the safe thing, and they, they go through all the regulations and uh, firearm safety and clothing and everything you would need to get going in hunting. And how would someone find out about when the classes are held or, or where they are? Uh, we usually post you know, something starting in uh, July and August for September, or you could go to the uh, New York State DEC website and find out who's having something locally. Okay. Now, I've done all that, I've gotten my permits and my license. I come in here and I'm interested in hunting certain types of game. Now, can you use any type of gun for any type of game, or do you have to use a particular gun for certain things? Um, not one gun does everything, you know. If you're going to hunt turkey, you know, you're going to use a shotgun, something like this. This is a turkey shotgun. Okay. Okay, it's camouflaged, you know, and you want to use a shotgun for turkey. If you are targeting like deer, you know, big game, uh, you would use Something like this in a 30 caliber, 306, 308, 7 millimeter. Okay. Um, you know, there's different uh, regulations. Shotgun is a certain time of the year, rifles another time. Are there any really good places to hunt around here, or would someone have to go upstate into the mountains or, or somewhere like that? They do have hunting out east. Um, you can hunt deer. There's a large population of deer on Long Island, so much so that it could be a problem. Okay. So they do have uh, open season so on Long Island. So they do encourage that sometimes? Yes. John, you've mentioned that target shooting is also fairly popular along with hunting. Yes. Are there any ranges around here, or would you have to travel a little bit to get to a decent range? Uh, there's outside ranges out in Cavalton. There's uh, Brookhaven, uh, Yapang Trap and Skeet. Um, there's an Islip Town range. There's a few, uh, you know, outside ranges. They're nice places. They're indoor also. Now, John, in addition to all the shotguns and rifles that you have, it seems down here you have some vintage tap yes. firearms. Can you tell us a little bit about them? You know, uh, collectors like World War II stuff. Um, you know, M1 Garands. This is actually in 1943 wow. uh, from the war. Uh, it's U.S. 30 caliber. This is an M1 carbine from the 40s also. Um, you know, collecting these type of firearms are an investment. They're, they're nice history pieces. Are they still in working order or are they more just for show? No, everything on the, the shelf is in working order. How did you guys come to obtain these? Uh, people come in you know, maybe they uh, had them from their father, you know, had okay. it from the war, and uh, or they bring it in on consignment and we purchase it or, you know, we sell it. Um, you know, we have U.S. collectibles, British collectibles, Russian collectibles, Japanese collectibles. Um, this is an early Springfield, and even Chinese collectibles. Thanks for joining us today on Smith Down Spotlight. And remember, if you have any questions about anything, firearms or fishing, Suffolk Sportsman is the place to go. For Smith Town Spotlight, I'm Bobby Rabbit.